This is the Army Today, helping Afghans help themselves. Gail McKay reports on the importance of training the Afghan National Army. I'm Gail McKay reporting from Afghanistan. The future of this country hinges on a number of initiatives, but one of the top priorities is the capability of the Afghan security forces. I could make an argument that probably the most important mission in Afghanistan today uh, is developing the Afghan capability to do for themselves. Major General Robert Cohn, Commander Combined Security Transition Command Afghanistan, says Afghans are willing to fight for the future of their country. The fact is, the Afghan will fight, uh, and that is what we have to harness. In the hills outside the capital of Kabul, Afghan National Army recruits are trained in basic skills. <laughs> Lessons that today are almost exclusively the work of Afghans training Afghans. According to the commander of the Kabul Military Training Center, it's a sign of progress. I can tell you that uh, we start um, um, two battalion training with uh, 400 men each. Now we are training, um, I mean, uh, five battalion at the same time in each one, uh, 1,500 men. Hopefully, we will be able one day to stand on our feet. But it looks we need more help. The goal for the ANA is a force of 70,000, perhaps more. According to WARDAC, there is no lack of volunteers. The young generation have to serve their country, bring peace and stability to their country, serve their people. These young people feel that they, have, they should come in. This is the, the wishes of the people. Gail McCabe, Afghanistan. That's the Army Today from the Soldiers Media Center in Washington. I'm Crystal Park.